All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the honorable, the uh, esteemed, the officiated official sworn in Minister Marquis Kimball coming to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about a program that we partnered with yesterday. So I don't know if you saw the advertising. There was a lot of advertising going out on all of the social media platforms yesterday concerning my likeness in KNS Financial. So you do not need to wonder if I am insured. We are insured. You should be very, very careful with whoever is doing anything with your personal information if they cannot produce that they are insured which means that they are protected and you are protected. So rest assured, if you decide to do business in any shape, form, or fashion with KNS Financial, you do have the assurance to knowing that we are backed and covered with a liable insurance policy protecting both you, yourself, and me in the event there had to be some type of arbitration. Now, the reason we have this in place now is because I tried to help a lot of people before with credit repair, and we're just not going to go back down the lane of uh, you threatening or telling me, and I can't say anything because I can't disclose your credit information. If you're going to throw mud at my credit repair company, you better be ready and okay with me sharing your true facts about what your credit looked like when you started with me. We're going to stop it with all of the, oh, he said a shoot of what it could have. Most of you all, let's just be honest, you don't care about your credit until you need something. And that's when you start looking and saying, who can I call? They turned me down. I couldn't get a car. Who can I call? I want to move. I want to buy a house. And they turn me down. And then you start wearing. And then you want a magical finger to be snapped. And that's not ever in this life going to happen. I don't care what credit repair company you call. You can stand me up with the best of them. Because I promise you that the only thing a credit repair company can do for you is address your negative history. Everything else comes from your habits. So if you keep letting people pull your credit and you keep running up your credit card and missing your car payment, and then you want to say credit repair doesn't work for me, I'm going to say you are a scam because there is some responsibility that falls on you too. But that's not what we're having this conversation for today. I want to talk to you about the legal documents that you now have access to if you partner with KNS Financial. Now, let me explain this to you like you're a two year old. You don't have the money at your fingertips, and neither do I all the time, to retain an attorney in the event something transpires and now you need to bring action. Most of these scamified attorneys don't want to take your case unless you retain them or they're taking a third. It's just a scam because half of them, they are just glorified people who just studied out the law. And most of what you're paying the attorney for, he's going to give the work to his paralegal. So he's not even doing anything. He might sign his name on a few documents, but the paralegal is typing up the work. And I have partnered with a firm that has access to all legal documentation. Now, how does this benefit you? Well, if you live in the Lucas County area, you now know that I am a notary for Lucas County. I am commissioned until January 28th. 2029. So that means if you purchase any of these documents that you may will need, let me explain to you why you need them. 
Let, that's the main thing. Let me go down the lane of why you need these documents. And you don't think you do, but let me show you why you do. Okay? So let's just go down the lane of somebody that you love passing away unexpectedly or playing, you know they're going to pass away. And now they get to a place in their life where they can no longer make decisions for themselves. If you don't have a power attorney in place, then guess what? Everybody else gets to make the decision about your loved one. Now, I'm going to share with you my own personal experience. I don't care if you get upset. This is not for your opinion. It's for you to understand reality. I'm not going to lie about my situation. I'm going to tell you facts. But the bottom line is my sweet grandmother had to leave this earth back in 2018. It destroyed and shattered my entire world. But there was a bunch of fighting going on between the family because grandma signed documentation which allowed me and only me to make decisions about her while she was living and final decisions about her when she passed. Don't ask me why she chose me. I didn't twist Barb. And if you knew Barb and you knew her well, you didn't make Barb do a damn thing that she didn't want to do. So what I'm saying to you is, although the family fought and was upset and this one was mad and that one was mad, they could do nothing because grandma signed these documents. Now, you may say I'm healthy today, but 10 years from now, what if the doctor says you have cancer and you're in the fourth stage, you're leaving this earth in three months? Have you got your estate set up in place or are you just gonna let your kids fight? Because that's what most of us do. Aretha Franklin walking around with $80 million and you got notebooks and accounts. Are you kidding me? There's nothing wrong with writing your will in a notebook, but you better damn well sure have it notarized or it don't mean a hill of beans. So when you get access to these documents by partnering with us, you also have access to my notarization services. So let's say you got to sell a car. You want to sell a piece of property. You need a power of attorney set up, financial or uh, physical. You've got to understand the difference between the two. One makes decisions about your money, your bank accounts, your social media accounts. That person makes that decision. And then the other person makes the decision about your medical care. They both don't make the decision unless there is a signed document that says the one makes decisions on both, which is what I was for my grandmother. Power of attorney means nothing for you when you the person passes away. Let me explain that, say that again. The power of attorney means not a hill of beans to you if the person passes away. It only applies while the person is living. Now, when that person goes on to be with the most high, then you better have what's called an executor of a state set in motion. And that is not the person that points and says, you get this and you get this. It does mean that, but they have to follow what is written in the will. And the executive of a state doesn't just pass out money. These are mistakes I had to learn the hard way because I had pressure from people in the family that wanted dollars. So I, rather than fighting, I hear. But that's not the way you plan out an estate. Any money, all money, gets transferred to an account. That account gets opened up into a business called an estate account. Bills are paid out of that account, and then what is left is dispersed based upon what's written in the will. 
Now, if you don't have any of this stuff set up, fine. Leave your family in shambles. Let them fight. Because that's exactly what's going to happen. People change when people die. And if you don't believe me, remember I told you this. You can partner for just a dollar a day and have access to every legal document that you need. And although I'm not an attorney, my stamp does carry weight. And when I notarize something, it officializes the document which stands up in court. So if you don't got your estate together, you have a great opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't let it pass you by. Don't let some scam convince you that you need an attorney to set your stuff up the way you want it to go if you die. No, not if you die, when you die. What makes you think you're not going to die? We all are going to die. Do you have your stuff set up or do you going to just give your kids two middle fingers? Because that's what you're doing. You think you're super dad and super mom, but you left your kids in shambles? No, you gave them two middle fingers and you can't convince me that you love them. Because people turn into enemies when stuff ain't spelled out the way it's supposed to go. So I know I went a little over long than what I wanted to, but the bottom line is I'm talking to our people, my people. You know who you are. The ones that's looking for T-shirts to bury the loved one. Those are usually the ones that do not have an estate set up. And sad, sad day when something happens and people turn into enemies trying to get their hands on whatever of what of value you may have had. You'd be surprised how many relatives now pop out of nowhere talking about they loved you, they cared about you, and they can make your life and your descendants' life a living hell because you didn't sit down and put on your big boy underwear or your big girl panties and understand that you're not going to live forever. You scam. What are you going to do? Some magical, you could die tonight and you don't even care? Well, then I have to ask you, do you truly love your kids like you claim? Because if you did, then you'd be thinking about the future that you leave behind. The Bible says that a good man, a blessed man, is a man that puts up for his children's children. So we're talking about not just your kids, but your grandkids you scam. So if you don't think about that, you leave them in a place to where if they don't fight with each other, here comes probate. And that's a whole nother fight that you don't want to have to go through. Get your notebook out and write everything you own down, down to your piece of your socks. Spell out who you want it to go to. Schedule an appointment with me, get it notarized, and boom, you have at least did what most of us don't do. And you have set your family up in a little bit more peace because you're going to go. And if you don't think about them, how do you say you love them? How? Don't tell me that. You don't even tell me that. Actions. Speak louder than words. And what you do in this life with them don't mean a damn thing. Which, when you leave here, did you leave them something to remember you by other than your damn tangible things? Talking about property. Things that you can get acquired of that somebody will snatch away because you didn't set it up. That's it. I ain't going to harbor on it, but you better get in my inbox. You saw the ad. You saw the link. I'm going to put the link in this video, in this description. Share this, like it, and do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys know, we now have 13,000 subscribers. I'm blown away at the amount of support. Continue to share, like, continue uh, to get help us get this exposure uh, with the scam called State Farm. And uh, I really appreciate that because... I was not getting these subscribers this fast when I was dealing with Bible study. You never do. Nobody likes Bible study because you have to be faced with 
of following the truth. You know, you can listen to a scam, but when you hear the truth, it's, oh, do I want to continue to listen to something that the most I just clearly showed me is a scam? Most people are not ready to make that decision, so they walk around with a pussyfoot, scaly, jelly back, scam back, and they just listen to the scam. But the truth is, they don't want to see it. I like this because we deal with the truth here, and you are not forced to watch or support. But what comes out of this mouth, we going to look it up. We're going to see it in the scripture. And you take it how you want. You don't think it's stuff I see in there that I can't stand that I saw it? Like, why I had to see that today? Why did my eyes have to see that today, Yahuwah? Why did you allow me to see that scripture right now today? Well, that's the way it is. The scripture was not written about your feelings or based on your feelings. It was written on based on what he wants and wants and requires. And I got news for you. Whatever scam told you that all you had to do was baptize and say, I'm sorry, you better run fast from that scam. Because the only way you can be saved is by obeying what he commanded. I'm going to say that again. The only way you can be saved is by obeying what he commanded. That's the truth. And if anybody tells you something else different, tell them to call me. He'll email me. Get in my inbox. Let's, let's go live. Bring your scripture. Let's deal with the book. Don't give me your, your, my, your thoughts or your, your, your James Brown Sunday message. Bring the scripture. And you better be able to show me because I can show you. He said, I am Yahuwah, that is my name. Beside me, there is no other. So you're going to have to explain to me, if you're giving me something else, who and when did he say that? Because Malachi said, I do not change. So you can't start playing and changing and saying this and saying it's one or the other. And I'm sorry. For me, I'm going to worship the Most High who created me, who said I gave you breath in life, who, who makes the decision if I breathe every day. That is who I'm going to worship. You don't like it? Go read Isaiah 43 and 11. Don't talk to me about any of the other books then. Go get your Bible right now and go pick it out and read Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11, and explain to me why he said, besides me, there is no Savior. Besides me, there is no Savior. Besides me, there is no Savior. He said that in your book. Go read it. And you tell me, when did that change and who changed it? I need to know that, preacher. Don't you give me your line of scam if you cannot show me when did it change and who changed it. Until next time, be blessed on purpose.